Good evening, everyone. I'm Zach Sewell in with your sports tonight. The Valdosta State Blazers hit the field today in the first round of the playoffs to seek revenge for their loss against the North Alabama Lions, where they lost by a last second field goal earlier this season. What would round two have in store? Taking it to the third quarter now, the Blazers up by three. UNA's Luke Wingo rolls out and finds Ryan Harper for the three yard touchdown. North Alabama would take the lead 28-24. Now just over three minutes left, Blazers up by two. Wingo's pass picked off by VSU's Kenny Murphy, and that would seal the deal. The Blazers would get their revenge by winning by a final score of 33-31. They will play Lenore Ryan in Hickory, North Carolina next week. The Georgia Bulldogs are coming off their big win against Auburn last weekend. Would the Charleston Southern Buccaneers have anything for the dogs this afternoon? Short answer, no. Georgia makes a statement on the first drive of the game as they force a fumble. Georgia would recover the, with excellent field position. First play of the Georgia drive, Hudson Mason fakes the handoff and throws up a big pass to Chris Conley for a 35-yard TD. 7 to nothing, Georgia. Later in the first, Nick Chubb gets the handoff and cuts it to the outside, and he is gone. 83 yards for the score. Chubb had two touchdowns in the game. It was his sixth straight game with 100 yards as he rushed for 113 on nine carries. Now Georgia up 31 to nothing late in the second and more turnovers for Charleston. QB Austin Brown is pressured and throws an interception to Quincy Mauger. That results in another Georgia score. Hudson Mason with a nerve fake handoff. Throw to Conley for a 23 yard TD in the back of the end zone. Take another look as Conley just barely gets both feet down before falling to the ground, doing the most. 38 to nothing, Georgia. Georgia would roll in this one by a final score of 55 to nine. They face rival Georgia Tech next week. Florida State paused to remember the tragic shooting that took place on their campus before Saturday's game versus Boston College. Our thoughts and prayers continue to be with the victims. We take you to the gridiron now and start you off in the second quarter. Florida State's Jameis Winston throws down the middle and finds Nick O'Leary for the 30-yard TD. Florida State would go up 17-10. In the third, Boston College Tyler Murphy keeps it on the read option and he goes untouched. 21 yards for the touchdown. That would tie the game at 17. Now under five minutes to go. Boston College's Alex Howell with a chance to take the lead, but he pushes the 42-yard field goal right. Florida State ball now with 15 seconds to go in the game. Watch the snap as Winston nearly fumbles, but hangs on. A close call right there. Now seven seconds to play. Florida State's Roberto Agallo hits a 26-yard field goal to give Florida State the victory. Another close call for the Seminoles as they win 20 to 17. Now over to Razorback country, number eight Ole Miss on upset alert. Taking it to the first, Arkansas's Brandon Allen off play action connects with Keon Hatcher for the 25 yard TD. They go up seven to nothing. Almost halftime now, Arkansas up 17, but Ole Miss's Bo Wallace throws it to the corner of the end zone, but it's picked off by Arkansas's Tevin Mitchell. They would take that lead into halftime to the third now. Ole Miss trying to get back in the game and Wallace looking in the end zone again and he's picked off for the second time. This time to Rohan Gaines. Oh, and he isn't done. Look at that convoy of red in front of him. 100 yards for the touchdown. Arkansas pitches back-to-back -back shutout victories. They had lost 17 straight SEC games before last week. Now a two-game winning streak. Change of pace now. How about some high school hoops? Albany High taking on the Doherty High Trojans in the third period. The Indians are trailing by six until Orlandis Davis lays it in, cutting the lead to four. The Indians trail 21 to 17. Later in the period, fast break opportunity for the Trojans. Dominique Anderson receives the half court pass and lays it in for two. Albany High hung tough, but falls short as the Trojans win by a final score of 42 to 37. The Northeast has been dealing with an Arctic blast all week. Tomorrow's Buffalo Bills game versus the New York Jets game has been postponed. NFL officials cited public safety concern as the reason to call off the game. You can see by these aerials, there is no way the field would be ready for play. The NFL game has moved the game rather to 7 p.m. in Detroit on Monday night. Fishing game forecast for Sunday is looking good. There is a peak in the good range at 1.40 a.m. and a peak in the excellent range at 2.20 p.m. But watch out, it may be a stormy one. And check this out, the Denver Nuggets playing the New Orleans Pelicans. Off a missed shot, center JaVale McGee goes for the ball and winds up in an elderly woman's lap. 
But before he runs back on the court, he kisses her on the cheek while the game is still in progress. The woman laughs it off as she wipes the sweat off her face. The Nuggets <laughs> would win the game by a final of 117 That's like to 97. Luck right there. That's exactly, exactly. He just wants some sugar, you know. Absolutely. You know. <laughs> Thanks for joining us.